In this video I'm going to show you 7 cleaning tricks that really should be known by everyone who wants to spend significantly less time cleaning and have everything a little easier. With trick number 1 we want to make sure that we have to dust significantly less, because dusting is really annoying especially on skirting boards or furniture for example. Dust is always deposited here and we can actually avoid this with a small aid. This way the dust should no longer settle so quickly on the surfaces. But in the first step, you have to remove all the dust from the surfaces, otherwise this trick won't work. And then all you need is conventional fabric softener, because with fabric softener we can seal our surfaces and make sure that dust doesn't stick to them. Put a very small amount of fabric softener on a cloth. Now you should use the cloth to wipe all the surfaces where you don't want to dust so often. A really small layer is enough here, we don't want our surfaces to be completely slippery afterwards or even full of fabric softener. They only need to be rubbed with it a little bit once so that they are sealed. Dust will no longer settle here but will fall straight down. The advantage of this is that the dust can now fall directly onto the floor and then be removed as normal when vacuuming. Of course the dust will not disappear but you will have to remove dust from the surfaces much less often. Of course you have to repeat the whole process every few weeks to make sure it continues to work. If you have slanted windows and still clean them in the traditional way you should definitely take a look at this trick. Because most of the time the windows get dirty again relatively quickly but instead of cleaning them by hand you can simply let nature clean them for you. All you have to do is smear your window with dishwashing liquid when it rains. In fact this cleaning trick only works when it rains. Then you grab some dishwashing liquid, open the window and put a little dishwashing liquid on the top of your window. It doesn't have to be that much, a small amount will do. Now close the window again and the detergent will slowly run down here and the rain will make sure that most of the dirt is removed from your window. Of course you still have to wipe the inside of your windows yourself, but the rain has now taken care of the outside. And afterwards the view out of the window is really nice and clear again. And your window is clean without you really having to wipe it from the outside. This brings us to trick number 3, for which you need an ordinary piece of baking paper. It doesn't matter if it's light or dark. It's a great way to remove limescale stains from your tap. This is because of the surface coating of the baking paper, which you have certainly felt when you rub it back and forth between your fingers. We now take a piece of this baking paper and start rubbing it over the tap. Just like that, without water. After a short time you will see that you can remove existing limescale stains wonderfully. The water stains are no longer visible on the tap. The second advantage is that we can actually seal our surface with it and then ensure that water stains and limescale spots can no longer form so quickly. This means that you can use the baking paper to clean your tap directly and coat it so that it no longer gets new water stains so quickly. Be sure to try this trick on yourself. In trick number 4 we clean our oven again with the help of plastic bags because this really works wonderfully easily and quickly. After a while the oven looks very dirty, as it does in my case for example. We also have very burnt in stains here, which are usually not so easy to remove again. But with the help of such conventional plastic bags or plastic wrap or clinch film, you can get the whole thing clean again really quickly and easily. To do this, you should cut the bags open so that you can lay them out flat. Of course you can use clinch film just like that. And then you need a cleaner of your choice. I use my own power grease remover from my shop. You can find the link to the shop below in the video description. Feel free to visit the shop and order something if you like. So now I take this power grease remover and spray the entire oven with it. But instead of just letting it sew in, we put our plastic bags over it. This increases the effect because it doesn't dry out as quickly. Once you've put plastic bags all over, it's time to wait. Now let the whole thing work for about an hour. If the dirt is really heavy you can leave it on for 2 hours. This will really soften all the dirt stains. When the time is up you only have to remove the plastic bags again. And then grab a damp cloth and wipe through completely. And as you can see in my case almost all the stains are now completely softened. So all I have to do is wipe out all the dirt with the damp cloth. Then dry the oven again. And everything is clean again and the oven shines like new. And I didn't even have to scrub widely. It's so easy to get your oven clean again with plastic bags. 
Another annoying task is the calcified shower head, because we usually find a lot of lime scale in these little rubber rings after a while. And because of that, water doesn't just come out like that anymore, but really splashes back and forth into all short of corners. And for this you can use an interdental brush. With this brush you can really get into all the little hooks and clean them from front to back, so that the limescape problem doesn't come back as quickly as if you only clean the outside of the whole thing superficially. You can now simply go into the individual noopsies with this interdental brush, just go in and out and they should be clean again. This is a really quick and easy way to remove lime scale. In between you should rinse the interdental brush with water again. I've tried it on several shower heads now and it really works everywhere, because the size actually matches here. Then rinse the shower head again with clear water, screw it back on and you can see that the lime scale has completely disappeared. And the water is flowing nicely again, just as it should. But lime scale is usually not only a problem at the shower head, but also at the shower door. Here too we usually find a lot of lime scale residue and maybe even mold. I'm going to show you how to get rid of this. To do this take an old cleaning cloth and cut it into thinner strips, as you can see here. Then we need a bowl. Now put vinegar into it, because vinegar is a wonderful lime scale remover and with the help of the cut racks we can really fight it directly, in the places where it can be found. So I put vinegar into the bowl and put all the strips into the vinegar. In the end they should be really soaked up with vinegar. That means you can pour a little more vinegar into the bowl in between. Wait until everything's soaked and then you can go back to your shower door. We can now put these vinegar soaked strips on all the places where we have lime scale or mold. Because of the rags the vinegar now stays here really nicely in these places and it can soften everything super. Then pour the rest of vinegar, if you still have some in the bowl, on top. And now it's time to wait. Depending on how badly the dirt is you should let it soak in for between 1 and 3 hours. This also works very well on silicone seals. When the time is up, we just have to remove these things again and then you can see that most of the lime scale and mold has already been removed. Now wipe over it again with a cloth and then rinse it off again and you can see that everything is really clean again and we even got the stop burning calcified area super clean, thanks to the cloth and the little vinegar. This brings us to our last cleaning trick. For this you need a straw like this and a pair of nail scissors. Now cut the straw lengthwise as you can see here. The first 2 to 4 cm should be enough. Now cut small slits like this into the side of the straw, slightly offset. I will now show you again how the whole thing should look. It's best to go over it again with a finger or pointed scissors, so that these little prongs that you've cut in here are on the outside. They have to do that for our trick to work. This is what it looks like in the end. And what you can do with it? You can clear your drain of hair and also dirt. Because we now go into the individual holes of the drain with the straw here. Then twist it back and forth a little and pull it out again after a while. And all these little prongs should now have hair stuck to them. Those were all our 7 cleaning tricks. Why don't you try them out for yourself? Would you also like to know 6 really ingenious tricks that everyone should know? Then be sure to watch the video that I'm linking to you here. You would make me really happy if you click the like button and subscribe to my channel.